Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Brothers Auto Sales, Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the truck featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I'm here to bring you this 2014 Ram 3500 Tradesman Edition. This is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Ram 3500. Start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance specifications and show you many features that this truck has to offer. So we'll go and get started by walking around the exterior. It's got a nice bright white color. This is the Tradesman, so it is the quote-unquote base model. This one does have a nice ranch hand front brush guard. This one does have the 16-inch wheels wrapped in Cooper Discoverer AT3 tires. It does have the Cummins diesel. It does have the Annie's running bars on the side. This model is a crew cab. It does have the Weather Guard toolbox in the back. It is obviously a dually. Let me show you in the back. Or if I can, I'm gonna unlock the bed. It does have a factory spray in bed liner. It does have a nice headache rack on the top there. It does have a have a gooseneck hitch right down there factory exhaust. I pretty much showed you all in the exterior of this truck. Now we'll go ahead and go on the interior. There's your tow mirrors. Just flip them out if you're towing something. If not, just push them in. Inside it does have a gray cloth interior. Black accents. You have all your power options right here. Power windows, window locks, power door locks, and power mirrors. So, let's go ahead and jump inside here. Overall, this is a very nice looking truck. Now we're we'll going to start the engine here. Radio screen that shows up right there. Let's see if I can't show it to you. Well, there's the instrumentation, nice little RAM logo that shows up. It does have 65,000 miles in its odometer. So now we'll go ahead and start the engine. Very nice. It's got a vinyl wrapped steering wheel. Very nice and smooth power assisted steering. Just a little bit of tightness to it. This has a six speed Eisen transmission, automatic. Manual shiftability, controlled by the plus and minus on the side of the shifter. Numbers will show right up there in the dash. We also do have a tow haul mode, which raises the transmission shift points for better performance when towing. Alright, now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights. Hazards. Both the front windows are fully automatic. Alright, now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. signal markers in the mirrors. All right, now we're going to go back in, shut off all the lights, and now I'm going to pop the hood and show the engine. the visit center of this Ram 3500, 
We find here it's 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel inline six cylinder. 24 valve, produces 375 horsepower and 800 foot pounds of torque. Very nice running engine. Does have its factory air box right here. No blow by. Very smooth running engine. Still has the EGR and DPF. Very reliable engines. For fuel economy, these trucks aren't required to meet the EPA, but these things can get an average of about 14 miles per gallon depending on towing and driving characteristics. So, let's go and shut the hood here. And we'll go back inside. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. Very smooth sounding engine. Your parking brakes will hit it right down here. Just press to set. And the indicator light shows right up there in the dash. And then pull this lever here to release. These are four auxiliary switches right here. I believe there was for some work lights and marker lights that this truck was installed. So, let's go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window. Check out some of the interior features. It does have its original radio right here. It's just your basic radio. Right, there's all the settings for your radio. It does have AM, FM, and even Sirius Satellite Radio, which is a nice thing to have. You no know, media is available. Info. All your six presets are down here. A replay, shuffle, track seek down here, tune over here, volume obviously, audio, equalizer settings. Menu, back, mute, play and pause right there. Climate controls down here. Fan speed over here. Temperature in your different zones. Front defrost, rear defrost, AC control and recycler. Brake controller down here. Traction control off. Your exhaust brake is right over here. Two storage pop. It's on the side of the door. 12 volt power outlets. Four wheel drive transfer case. Cup holders mounted down here. You do have three more cup holders up here. Center console storage with, with auxiliary and USB line in. 12 volt power point. Coin holder storage. This also does flip up for the extra person riding along. Glove box, two storage pockets on the side of the door, visors, another visor up here, your cruise controls on the front of your steering wheel, over here is all your, all your, all your heads up display controls, right there you can show your, your fuel economy, average miles per gallon, Trip A, trip B, trailer and tow, how much gain and distance, messages, screen setup, settings, turn the menu off, speedometer, vehicle information, there's your tire pressure monitor and then fuel economy. Wiper controls are on the turn signal stock. Does have a tilt steering wheel. Manual sliding driver's seat with manual recline. You have a decent amount of room in the back. I'm 6'5 in height and this is how much room I have back here. 
You have two cup holders down here. Storage pockets on down the door. It does have a red LED interior light right here. The bottom of the seat does fold up for extra cargo space. You have a nice little storage compartment underneath. Two AC vents down way down there. Overall, it's a very nice truck. Now we're going to shut it down here. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this in depth review of the 2014 Ram 3500 Tradesman. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.